Hi guys, this is lesson number 74 from our Coral Draw Training Course Series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create trifold brochure layout in Coral Draw using three different methods. Here I have brochure. You can see this is the front and this is inside. In the next lesson, we will design this brochure. But now we are going to set the layout for this design. The first thing you need to check the size. Our size here is A4 and it is landscape. If you want custom size, you can set the width and height in the page dimension here. Another important thing is the measurement units. I set my measurement units in millimeter. We will prepare basic layout with the bleeding, margin guidelines and uh, also we will divide into three flaps. To do that, we need to click on the layout menu. And here we have document option or you can click on page size. So once you will click on the page size, here under page size we can set our bleed area and uh, margin guide we can set in the guideline. Once you will click, you need to change the preset to user defined preset and then we can set the guideline. Another way to access this uh, dialog box, you can go to the tools, options and here we have customization. Click on customization, option dialog box is open and here you need to click on the document. Once you will click on the document, you will get all the same control here. Click on the page size and you can set the bleed area here. I am going to set my bleed 3 mm. Make sure that show bleed area is checked. Now we will set the margin guides. So click on guideline, click on preset, user define preset, margin is checked and make sure that mirror margin is also checked. Once you will type margin in the top and left field, automatically it will be applied to the bottom and right. So I'm going to set my margin 3 mm also from the top and from the left. So automatically it is applied from the bottom and right the same margin. Click OK. This outside uh, border line, it is our bleeding and here we have our margin guide. Now we are going to divide into three equal parts. There is a several way. The old method is just to create a rectangle and duplicate. Then we can extend from left to right. Using rectangle tool, we can create rectangle with the page size if we will double click. But since I am working with the 2021, double click to create rectangle with the page size, it's changed. So now once you will double click on any tool, you will be able to select all object created with that specific tool. So it is same thing with the rectangle tool. If I will click on rectangle and create rectangle shapes. Here we have three rectangle. And if I will double click on the rectangle, Coral Draw will select all the rectangle in our page. So how to set our layout with rectangle? The first thing, go to the view menu. Click on snap to and make sure that snap to page is checked. So once we will create rectangular shape, we can just snap from left to right and top to bottom. Here I have rectangle. Click on drag. Use pick tool and simply extend with the page boundary. This way we have. Now, if we want to get the three equal flaps for this brochure, it is simple. Just stretch it from one side, press plus key. So we have another copy in the same place. By pressing control key, move from this handle to the right side. So it will flip. Once again, press plus, press control key and flip it to the right. So here we have three equal rectangular shapes. To select all of them, press alt key and click and drag to make cross selection this way and simply extend up to the page border. So this is how we have three equal flaps. Now we can set our guideline this way. Now we can lock these guides right click. Once the guide is selected, you can lock. But before we do that, I am going to show you the other way. Control Z, undo. So here we have the previous state, the rectangle is with the page size. If we want, we can do it more simple way. We can divide this rectangle 
and the third part of the rectangle will be in the middle of our page. To do that, we need to click here in the object size field slash divided by since we need three flaps so three and hit enter. Now that rectangular shape is in the middle and this is the third part of the previous state. Same thing we can just draw guidelines and then we can lock. There is another method you can use also graph paper tool control Z undo and we can delete this object. Using graph paper tool we can also divide into three equal parts. Here we have polygon tool just hold down at the bottom we have here graph paper tool. Graph paper tool is selected before you draw in your screen you need to set the column and rows. Previously I set three in your case you need to do that also. So three column and one row we have simply snap it with the page this way and that's all. Once again we can set the guideline and that is the most easy and simple way using graph paper. We can set guideline, right click and then we can lock. Okay, so this how we set our basic layout, basic structure for our brochure design. Using graph paper tool it is more easy and as many flap you want you can create by adding the amount under graph paper. Now another thing we need to do here we need to set the page border guidelines. We can delete now this uh, graph paper because we have already the guideline and we can start working in our brochure. So let's create rectangular shape. Just snap with the page. Once we will prepare the background we need to extend our background with the bleed area. Now the size of this rectangle is exactly the page size. To extend with the bleed we can just add here 3 mm from this side and 3 mm from this side. So 6 mm left to right. So it is simple plus 6 top and bottom as well plus 6 hit enter. Now the rectangular shape is extended with the bleeding. If I will fill the color you can see the bleeding and you can see the margin guideline but the actual page in the middle the page border we cannot see. If I will click on transparency tool and apply transparency to this rectangle now you can see the page border. To set the guideline with the page it is simple simply drag and snap with the page border. that guides are in the middle. Now if we will disable the transparency, still we can see now the page border through our guideline. Another thing you need to keep in your mind, once you will create rectangular shape with the page size, that is the time you need to divide into three parts your brochure. And when you have these guidelines, after that extend your object with the bleeding area bleed area around our page is just additional space that will be trimmed. So our actual print size is from the middle guideline. So if you will extend first your rectangular shape with the bleeding and then you will divide of course the left and right flaps will be smaller. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. In the next lesson we will design this brochure. Try to practice these different methods to set the layout with the margin and guideline. Set the bleed area as well. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.